Hello, my name is Amy Bainbridge and I curated the exhibition How to Hide a Lie with Helen Stevens. The exhibition is open until the 9th of February 2014. This is the author and illustrator Helen Stevens, and in the gallery we have a set selection of her storybooks. Helen was originally from Steendrop and Darlington, which is very close to the Bose Museum, but now she lives in Berwick upon Tweed. Helen has always been inspired by the Bowes Museum and as a child she came and visited and did lots of sketches but as an adult she was returned and this has been an inspiration for one of her storybooks, The Big Adventures in the Smalls and you can see from the illustration here her, she's been really inspired by the Bowes Museum. As well as being fun and interactive, this gallery is also educational. Here in the two, in the two cases, we've got a selection of objects and artefacts from Helen's house which showcase how she creates a storybook. So the first step is Helen takes a sketchbook wherever she goes. And this is the sketchbook Helen brought to the Bose Museum and you can see John and Josephine. Next, Helen creates sketches for her characters. And at the top here you can see Paul and Sally Small, which are the characters in The Big Adventures of the Smalls. Next, Helen creates a storyboard, and she does this in her sketchbooks, and they showcase what's going to appear on each page in the book. She notes down words she wants to appear, and also what the characters might say. And at the top you can see the Bose Museum there. Next, Helen then uses layout paper and she roughly sketches out what she wants on each page, so where the words are going to be, where the images are going to be, and she uses pen and ink, and then finally she adds the watercolour, which you can see at the top. These get sent to her publisher and she sees the final proof, which she scribbles notes on, and they get sent back for final changes. Helen Stevens' books are very, very popular and have been printed in a variety of different languages. The Big Adventure of the Smalls is written in English and also French. Behind me are two of the sketches that Helen Stevens did of the John and Josephine Boards table. And here in front of me is the final version that appeared in the, the storybook, The Big Adventures of the Smalls. Now, from this, we took a variety of different elements to include in the interactive part of the gallery for the children. I'll show you around now. Here we have a simplified version of the banquet table from Helen Stevens' storybook. This table is used for role play with children. And here I've got a costume. We've, bought, we've purchased a variety of different costumes for the children to try on of different characters from the stories and created costume cards to get the children into role so they think about how the character moves, how they talk and how they interact with other characters. This is the How to Hide Lines section of the gallery, it's is the blue section, and here we've got in the case the How to Hide Lines storybook by Helen Stevens. And at the bottom of the case we've got two really interesting objects. We've got at the back a hat which appears in the storybook, and this belonged to Helen's great uncle, and it's the hat that the lion wanted to buy in the story. Also at the bottom of the case we've got a book she bought from a charity shop, and you can see the resemblance to her lion in the story and she's been really inspired by that storybook. This is Fleabag. Fleabag is a dog which Helen sketched from Battersea Dog Home. You can see the sketchbook that she used here and the dog was actually called Flynn but she thought that Fleabag was a good name for him. And at the top of the case here you can see a Blue Peter badge which Helen was awarded when she went on the show as she was shortlisted for the Blue Peter Book Award in 2009. This is Night Iceberg in the yellow section of the gallery and you can see in the case here Helen's Nana's suitcase. Just like the hat, it's one of Helen's personal belongings and it's been inside the storybook because you can see here Tofta with the suitcase on the iceberg. So Helen's always using her personal objects in the, in the storybooks. And down at the bottom, there's Jack Rabbit, which is a, a toy that Helen actually knitted for her daughter Frida when she was a little baby. And this also features in the storybook as Tofta's favourite toy. Another way that Helen makes her stories personal to herself is by included images of her family and friends. Here you can see her partner Jerry, Helen herself, and finally her daughter Frida, who in this storybook is called Iris. As well as illustrating her own books, Helen also illustrates books for other authors. Here you can see an example of Jojo and the Melon Donkey, which Helen illustrated for Michael Morpurgo. And at the front of the case here you can see a large sketchbook which Helen took to Venice to sketch some wonderful images which were inspired to take place in the book. 
We've also got at the back of the case a vase which was in Helen's kitchen and on the front you can see a donkey. Now the donkey is very similar on the vase to the donkey in Helen's book, Jojo and the Melon Donkey. She liked the colours and the artists had used on the vase and this inspired her drawing for Jojo. And finally at the front we've got Michael Malpergo's original draft for Jojo and the Melon Donkey and you can see all his notes scribbled on there, it's wonderful to see. How to Hide a Line has been so successful, Helen's publishers have asked her to create a sequel and here you can see some top secret images which have not been seen which are going to feature in the next book, How to Hide a Line from Grandma.